Serving those people, trying to get them better hospitals across Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast, they are coping with a severe nursing shortage as the new wave of coronavirus patients fill their intensive care units. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman is getting the big picture on hospitals' desperate need for far more nurses. Florida's nursing shortage is becoming more and more of a problem. The Florida Hospital Association reports that 68% of all hospitals, that's more than two thirds, report their nursing shortage as critical. It was bad before the pandemic. The president of the FHA tells Contact 5 hospital nurses, especially those working in intensive care units, are leaving the field burned out by long hours and exposure to COVID. The level of stress and strain and physical exhaustion that our frontline staff have been under now for over 17 months is clearly taking its toll. Especially on older nurses. The Florida Center for Nursing reports that before the pandemic, nearly 40% of Florida nurses were 50 or older. And they were doing fine until the pandemic hit. Union organizer Betsy Marville says the pandemic is costing hospitals their most experienced nurses. The older you get, it's hard to work 14 hours on your feet without taking a break. And so since nothing was done to alleviate that, a lot of them just retired. Others left the state. Before the pandemic, um, to travel in normal was between $50 to $60 an hour. ICU nurse A.K. Kapoor joined the growing ranks of traveling nurses, taking three-month temporary jobs in medical centers across the U.S. He's now making $120 per hour at a Baltimore medical center. That's four times his pay as a staff nurse in South Florida. Like the place I was, um, um, I was working at, half of the people left to mm. do traveling. Some medical experts expect the coronavirus surge to worsen in the coming days, and that could tax hospitals' budgets and the nursing staffs that have been on the front line for a grueling 17 months. Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.